the American Atheist Alliance isn't there either. I'm speaking somewhat fa facetiously, yeah. but one thing I notice is they refer to two or three of the members as secular. I I'm a scholar of secularism, and that doesn't really conform to my definition of what secular is. One of them is Fred Davey, who's a very good right. man, uh, who runs public-private ventures. Right. Uh, I don't think he's secular in the following bipartite sense. I don't think he's either a non-believer or a person who is absolutely committed to separation of church and state. So I think there was some duplicity in the way they described some of the members of that 25-person advisory board as secular. Are they secular? Are there secular groups really involved? In making these decisions? Well, keep in mind there still is, a, a, you know, an activist uh, portion of the, uh, of the Democratic Party that is secular. So it's mm -hmm. to, uh, their interest to at least describe to at some least members. To say that there's some seculars on there. Yes. Right? Yeah. But let's move on as the plot thickens. And this is actually really quite an interesting story. Now, this office has a very dynamic, very capable, very intelligent young man at its head. His name is Joshua Dubois. Tell us about Mr. Dubois. Well, everyone describes him as being young. He mm. is young. He's 27 years old. Uh, a Pentecostal, African-American. He worked as a minister when he was an undergraduate at Boston University. Uh, went to Princeton, got his master's there. Uh, and then saw Obama speak at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. Was mm. so blown away. He begged his way onto Obama's Senate staff. Became um, their director of, of faith outreach. And then during this, the presidential campaign, worked his way up to director, director of faith outreach for the campaign. And following in the footsteps of the executive order, four areas that his office under his directorship is going to concentrate on. Tell us about those four areas. It's actually really interesting. They're really, they're really varied. Uh, one is uh, helping faith-based organizations help with the, with the economic recovery. For example, uh, a faith-based organization might get a contract from labor to help with job training. Two is promote responsible fatherhood and healthy families. Mm -hmm. Three is fostering interfaith dialogue. And four, and the most controversial, reducing the need for abortion. That would include policies uh, that would uh, increase adoptions um, or uh, policies that would um, help women carry pregnancies to term. Is there a sense of what this office is actually supposed to do? It, it is a little confused because the Faith Council actually has six priorities, some of which are different from the four priorities of the office itself. Um, so there is some sort of vagueness and confusion uh, over just what it's going to do. Uh, Dubois has said that he wants to measure the, the success of the office, not by the uh, number of contracts that go to religious organizations, but on the success of achieving these particular goals. The four goals. The four, the four goals. goals. Yes. All right, let me tell you what confuses me. I was listening uh, to Mr. Dubois give an interview, I believe it was with Krista Tippett of NPR. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you a quote. Uh, the office does not do any direct grant funding. We tell organizations where the grants are and uh, tell them what they need to do to apply for them. Sounds benign enough. They're just like traffic cops pointing people in the right direction as to where they can uh, apply for their grants or receive their grant monies. But as you mentioned earlier, we learned that the office is enfolded into the Domestic Policy Council. So there's a big difference between just telling folks, get your $50,000 here, fill out this form, dot your I's, cross your T's. That's very, very different from now we're going to help craft policy because the Domestic Policy Council, its counterpart is the National Security Council. That's a rather grave and serious uh, body within the American government. So which is it? Are they just helping people get grants or are they crafting policy? Dubois' description of, of basically we're helping people get grants is a bit disingenuous. They are deeply involved in, in, in policy issues, particularly around the issue of abortion. They've been having lots of meetings with uh, groups from across the political spectrum uh, to see if they can come to what Obama's called this common ground on abortion. But what is the ideal result as far as this office is concerned vis-a-vis -vis an issue that has divided Americans for 35 years now? Well, they're aiming to see if they can probably do the impossible, which is to find some position on abortion that will please a lot of the constituents of this particular issue. Uh, they do have a cadre of organizations that say that they can agree on agree, agree to disagree on the issue of reducing the need for abortion. 
um, whether they're going to get the Concerned Women for America or Planned Parenthood to buy in is a very different matter. So how would you assess the performance of this office so far? It's been very slow off the mark. Hmm. Um, they are just now in the process of uh, hiring. It's been five months. Mm -hmm. uh, Dubois is in the process of putting together what he calls the metrics, in other words, what they're going to judge themselves by. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, in, they just now hired uh, the head of the faith-based office for HHS, where a lot of these contracts come out of. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a very slow process.